My science teacher in seventh grade told us about the Human Genome Project, which was a government-led initiative kicking off at the time to sequence every single base pair in the human genome, which is the roadmap for how to create human beings. And my mind was blown. I couldn't believe it. I've wanted to be a geneticist since I was in seventh grade. Seriously, since I was 12 years old. My name is Mira Tilly. I work primarily in lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and other autoimmune diseases. Probably one of the most exciting projects I'm working on right now is looking for new genetic variants that cause IBD and, and lupus. That'll actually help us predict what patients are going to respond to therapies and which ones aren't. It's really important that we get a handle on this. I think it's really going to enable some really exciting discoveries. I grew up in Colonia, New Jersey. Went to Colonia Middle School, uh, Colonia High School. There was definitely a stigma in high school attached to girls interested in science. We came across as nerdy. Despite that, I persevered because this, this was my passion. When I was a kid, there wasn't any shortage of girls interested in science. Things shifted a bit um, when I entered grad school. Two years ago was actually uh, when I started hiring people in, in my own group, and I was shocked. They were all male applicants. I couldn't believe it. There's a huge paucity of women across biotech and, and the tech industry. In my generation, uh, an equal number of men and women went to college. So that can't be the explanation. There, there has to be something more than that. We need to take a closer look at the STEM pipeline uh, and, and figure out where that dropout is happening and why it's happening. So if my daughter were to make the choice to go into science, if she had a, a eureka, aha moment, this is what I want to be, this is what I want to do, I would tell her, ignore what's going on around you. Ignore the social pressures. Don't worry about being popular or well-liked in school. Become the best you can be at science and keep going with it.